Hey guys, I wanted to make this video to clarify any false rumors about me that is going around. Of course, we're back to the whole famous uh, rapist, pedophile uh, allegations made against me. And I'm here to educate and clarify and make sure that I'm making this video for my fans and to venue owners and to communities that people are spreading fear, people are spreading ignorance, and I'm here to clarify that and give facts and actual evidence that are true. Uh, first off, I'd like to begin this, this message to my fans and to everyone. Uh, please share this video with all your families and your friends and, and share it with everybody. Um, because I'm here to, to go into everything and present facts over false uh, rumors. So first off, I want to I wanna be clear that I am not a rapist and I'm not a pedophile. Um, I'm not attracted to younger women. Um, and I've never been charged with a sex crime. I'm not a registered sex offender. Um, in fact, um, I've never even to trial or courts for any of this stuff. Um, you can look up my name. It's Jesus David Torres. Uh, I'll leave it down in the description. A uh, date of birth is 9584. So you can do a background check and see that there has been no crime, no, uh, sentences or anything crazy that people have been creating or, trying to manipulate others with. Let's be clear, this all is just a rumor that blew out of proportion back in 2009 of September uh, during the time I was 23. Uh, basically, I, a girl accused me of rape. Um, she took a rape kit, she failed the rape kit, and they proved my, my innocence. Now, if you pull up, uh, if you go and type in uh, Dobby Vanity Police Report, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. I'm going to pull it up and we'll go into it. Uh, you'll see it's a, it's a report. It's not a charge. It's not anything. Um, it's just basically saying that I was detained. So during this incident after the show, um, you know, I went down to the police station. And uh, as you look at the, if you look at the police record, you can see that I was facing uh, a sexual assault first degree felony. Um, and it was on September 13th, 2009. Uh, what people don't understand is that people have taken this police report and said that the girl was younger. Obviously, that's not true. You don't see statutory rape on there. You see uh, sexual assault, first degree felony. Um, what that basically means is that, you know, that's basically what I was facing. It was a first degree felony assault charge. They proved my innocence. You know, I went, um, they questioned me, I told them the truth, I told them exactly what happened. Hey, I just got a blowjob after the show, it wasn't anything crazy, um, you know, there was no foul play or anything like that, and they let me go. Uh, prior to me leaving and going about my life, people were like, people were my past band members and media outlets like BTV were saying that the girl was 15 and they, they threw in all these like false rumors about it and amplified it. Well, the girl was 17. When the girl was 15, you would see statutory rape on there. You don't see that on there at all. So clearly the girl was 17. And of course, when there's rumors about you, people blow shit out of proportion. Now, you know, there's, there's other incidents that have happened. Uh, there's been an incident where I asked for bras on stage. Now, this was during a show. And I basically said, hey, throw your bras on stage or whatever. Um, you know, at the time, I was really influenced by bands like All Time Low and Blink-182, who do this in all their shows. If you ever go to a Blink-182 show or if you go to an All Time Low show. Um, I actually we toured Warp Tour with All Time Low. So, of course, you know, I was drunk. I was high one night. I'm saying some stupid shit on stage. I admit my wrong. I, I did it. I asked for bras on stage. Am I... Was that the best thing for me to do? No, that was a very shitty thing for me to do. It was terrible. Um, and I'm still suffering from that. Let me, let me make this clear to everybody. When I was asking for those bras on stage, I was asking that for mature women, older women. I wasn't asking it from teenagers or any of that crazy shit. I was simply gearing that towards mature women. And, you know, looking back at that, I wish I would have said that at the time. But, you know... I'm fucked out of my mind. I'm drunk and I'm not blaming it on, you know, substance or anything like that. I'm not blaming it on, you know, me drinking or smoking. You know, clearly I'm manning up to what I said was wrong. It's fucked up. 
However, you know, people still continue to to bring that up, and I'm here to shut it down and just say that, you know, yeah, I, I said it, I fucked up. Um, does that make me the greatest person in the world? No. Uh, however, you know, people fuck up. People make mistakes. People say some stupid shit sometimes. And uh, at the time, you know, 2011, 12, I was making a lot of money. Um, I was doing a lot of drugs. I was getting fucked up every night. Um, I was getting drunk. And again, that's not an excuse uh, for my actions. And, you know, I, I am suffering for those actions that I've done today. But I'm here to let everyone know that, you know, hey, I fucked up. I did that. I'm sorry. Um, I want to go into a tweet that Jeffree Star posted about me uh, back in 2009. He, quote, said that apparently I brought people in my hotel room and I sexually saw the people. Now, the night before Jeffrey posted that tweet, I went on stage and I said some stupid shit about Jeffrey. He was really upset about that. Of course, everyone knows when you piss off Jeffree Star or any, you know, shit with Jeffrey, he gets pretty vile. He gets pretty angry and he'll tweet some fucked up shit. And he'll try to get his fan base rallied up and, and, to, and to go and attack people. Of course, you know, in 2011, he went on my tour bus at Warped Tour. He apologized for his actions. I forgave him. Um, you know, he's actually defended me on Twitter. We baked cookies. Uh, we did a song called Poison Apple back in 2013. So clearly, we're cool. And I, you know, people don't see that aspect of it. But, you know, when people are angry at each other, we tweet some pretty fucked up shit to each other. And, um, you know, does, did he mean that? No, he didn't mean that. He, like I said, he apologized to me about it. So there, there's that. So I'm putting that to rest. So anybody who's curious about that. Uh, there was also uh, a thing I saw on the, the Truth About Davi Vanity blog on Tumblr where someone was saying I was sending a nude photo to an underage girl. Let's make this loud and clear. The photo I sent of me covering up my private parts was a girl named Tiffany Davis. The girl at the time was 18. It was just her 18th birthday. Yeah, that's pretty close. Um, she went from 17 to 18. I sent her that, that image. It wasn't my dick. It was just me covering up my private parts. It was just a provocative picture. However, you know what? She was 18, and people don't even know that. Uh, clearly, she was upset with me or something she was mad at me because of her boyfriend um she apparently she had a boyfriend or something at the time and it caused a lot of bullshit so there's that so the girl was of age when i said that picture and it wasn't even my private part so people are like i said i'm, I'm here to put these rumors to rest now the reason why i'm making this video is because our ban is being threatened uh you know people are spreading people are saying that we're rapists and we're pedophiles uh, you know, Jay is gay. And and for people to throw those sickening, disgusting bullshit about us, uh, I'm here for my fans because I love entertaining my fans. I love putting on shows and I love, you know, going, going and performing and stuff. And when these people are harassing venues with false rumors and stuff and spreading fear and ignorance to a community, uh, it breaks my heart because the kids are the ones that suffer, the, the fans do. Now, do I make music for kids or teenagers? No. You know, I never never ask for kids to, to come to my show or do that. Uh, clearly, there's a parental advisory warning on my CDs, and I gear my music towards 18-year-olds and up. You know, do I, do I control what people listen to or how old they are? No, I don't. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, like, when I play sexing, I, have to, I can't look at people in the face or look at them in the eye if they're younger because it's just weird. Um, you know, do I gear my music towards a younger audience? No, I don't. And I can't help who listens to my music or who comes to our shows, but I'm grateful for every fan that I've ever had and that comes and support us. And I'm here, uh, because, you know, we might not be able to get to do that for much longer because of all of these false bullshit about us and the things that people are saying about us. Um, it's getting shows canceled and it's getting people, uh, afraid now, what's crazy is like, we'll, we'll go to these shows, we go to these venues, we show nothing but respect to the staff, uh, we hang out for hours signing autographs and giving our gratitude to our fans and showing our thank you, uh, you know, at least I am. Everywhere I go, 
when I play these shows, I always have a band member or a security guard or somebody there to make sure that nothing crazy happens, uh, no stupid shit's going on, and that everyone's safe. No one's ever complained about us on these shows that it's ever been a dangerous environment or anything like that. Everyone feels safe. And we love seeing parents come to the show. We hang out with our parents. In fact, I had some drinks with the parents at the bar and we, you know, kick shit and just talk. But, you know, um, you know, I even check IDs. I literally, any person I hang out with after a show, I check their ID. If they're not 18 and up, um, you know, if they're 18, I hang out with them. If they're younger than 18, I'm like, bye, Felicia. And, you know, I'm here to clarify that, that, hey, you know, I'm attracted to mature women. And, you know, as long as you're 18 and up, I'm cool. And if I'm into you, that, that's fine. But people want to sit there and throw these s disgusting false rumors about me. And I'm here to add clarity to all that. Now, I hope that you guys share this video with everyone and just educate people on the truth of who I am. Um, I will be posting uh, descriptions of the rumors that people have said about me, and I will be answering uh, them in statements underneath a uh, comment down below so you guys can see that, you know, everything I'm saying and that I will provide truth to all of that. Um, this video, again, is to educate people and to enlighten people and to stop spreading ignorance about myself. Uh, you know, this is crazy. I've been going through this for seven years. Uh, you know, just for me getting a blowjob in Denver, Colorado back in 2009. And, you know, this is crazy. Like, I'm I'm innocent and I'm still going through this shit. And it's crazy that, you know, it's affecting our shows. I'll be fine if I can't perform anymore because I have a successful merch company. And, you know, I don't necessarily need to do these live shows to thrive and, and survive. I can clearly survive back at home. But I'm doing this for my fans. I'm doing this for the people I love that I hope um, they share this video and spread it across the internet and to really silence uh, the ignorance uh, that people say about me because it's, it's all false. It's all not true. So um, I hope that this adds answers to your questions and that, um, you know, uh, hopefully we can save the shows of our concerts because um, it would suck to not continue playing these shows for our fans. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. And uh, I hope that this video opens eyes and open minds. Peace.